It all started here. And here. But if you happen to miss the grand opening of Cascades Park, Dimensions would like to take you on a guided walking tour of this glorious 24-acre, $30 million gem in the heart of downtown Tallahassee. Wayne Tedder from Blueprint 2000, who oversaw the entire construction of the project, leads the way. Absolutely. As we've been saying, there's a lot of Florida history out here. And uh, what this spot represents is the base point for all surveys uh, that are located in, throughout the entire state of Florida. From a property perspective, Everyone who purchases a piece of property has it surveyed. It's based from this point right here. And this is where east meets west? That is correct. This is north, south, east, east west. west. Right here, I mean this spot. That is the point. And if you notice out here on the outside, we actually have points where the tripods for all the surveyors can actually set up and locate their surveys. We're heading west now and there are over 2.4 miles of walking trails. Cascades is essentially a floodable park and its winding trails, park amenities and green infrastructure are all designed around an elaborate stormwater system. Most people be fooled that this park is just such a beautiful area. It serves another purpose than just being a recreation area for our community. Uh, first and foremost, it serves to treat uh, stormwater that has never been treated in our community so we have a better water quality uh, for our drinking water. Uh, and also, uh, if you ever recall the flooding on Franklin Boulevard at Leon High School in yes. South Monroe, this facility will help reduce or if not eliminate in many of those areas the flooding that we've experienced over the years. And that's what we're trying to do is just turn these functional stormwater management facilities into something that is visually attractive and very useful for our community. Several times a day, you can hear the trains coming and going. In the near future, you can enjoy the fabulous ambience of the historic electric building as it's transformed into the Edison restaurant, bringing old and new together. Okay, this amphitheater uh, is really designed for everyone in our community, first and foremost. Uh, it is completely set up for all the sound and all the lighting that you could ever imagine that you would need for any local events to come to the amphitheater. Uh, what you see is about 1,500 permanent seats that are, are located in front of us. And there's also a very large grassy area that we anticipate about another 1,500 people to uh, be able to be accommodated in this grass Picnic area. blankets. Yeah, we, we just hope it would be a, a fun opportunity for families to sit and enjoy a very nice concert or a play in the park. There's not a bad seat in the house. I have sat in every spot that you can imagine out here and there is not a bad seat in the house. So Wayne, this is part of Discovery. Discovery, it's a playscape, is that correct? That is correct, uh, but as you said, discovery, there's something for the children to discover out here. Uh, what the elements are is to really teach kids uh, and adults about the environment and different components of our environment. So not only does it allow them to play in the area, it also teaches them about the environment that is so critical to our community. Let your imagination run wild as you discover and interact with every feature of this green playscape. Run, crawl, play in the water fountain. But if you're still in the mood for just a little more water, you can play in the imagination fountain with 60 jets and absolutely no age limit. All right, so what we have behind us is called our imagination fountain. Uh, as you can see, it's a great opportunity for kids to come out and maybe even adults and play during the day and uh, get a little wet. We have a bathhouse just adjacent to it, so if they want to change out into dry clothes before they go home, uh, they certainly can do that and have that opportunity. But one of the coolest things about this fountain is at night, we actually have uh, eight minutes of music tied into a, a light show and sound show uh, for, this, for this fountain. So not only is it functional during the daytime, but it's an incredible amenity for the nighttime that everyone can view from all parts of this park. There are also quiet places for reflection and to remember loved ones. So what you're seeing behind me is what we call the Smoky Hollow Commemoration. Uh, well before any thoughts of a park ever existed in this part of our community, stood a historic black community called Smoky Hollow. And what you see is the efforts for us to commemorate uh, very uh, important history of our community, 
uh, folks like Famous Amos from the, the, the Cookies, uh, he lived in this neighborhood. The Adderley Brothers, famous mu jazz musicians, they all lived in Smoky Hollow. So they are a very important part of Tallahassee and the origins of Tallahassee. And this is just our opportunity to bring back that history to this part of our community. Take a step-by-step -step walk through history. These monuments chronicle the importance of our area as it takes you on a journey from past to present. And as we near the end of our tour, it's important to remember that this once flood-prone area is now a beautiful green space that we can all enjoy. Cascades Park brings together the best of Tallahassee. Its people, its history, and its future. And you'll always find there's more to discover at Cascades.